Hello and welcome to our show. Today we are here with Omari Brandon, who has been skateboarding since he was a kid. We're overjoyed to have Omari here in the studio with us. Omari, how has your day been? It's been a nice, chill, relaxed day. That's good to hear. But before we get sidetracked, let's talk about your history with skateboarding. So I hear your brother taught you how to skateboard. How does this history change the way you view the sport? It doesn't really change anything. Uh, me and my brother aren't very close anymore. Or, but like, I mean, it's kind of still the normal thing for me. I still enjoy it. Uh, and I'm thankful that he introduced me to it. All right, that's great to hear your admiration. It's amazing how much the interests of siblings can affect kids. Speaking of that, what about skateboarding drew you in enough that you were ready to spend an entire summer at skate camp? Well, um, I wasn't exactly like drawn into it. I was forced by my mother because she was doing <laughs> summer school at the time. Um, but I did enjoy it. I made some good friends. Uh, to this day, I still talk to them. Um, some not so much than others, but still good to hear from them every once in a while. And it did get me pretty far. Well, you love what you love. And now, now that you're an adult, I'm sure you found even more reasons to enjoy skateboarding as you got older. Let's take a look at your impression of your journey so far. Hi, my name is Omari, and I like to skateboard. I've been skating for about 11 to 12 years now. It has been a very long journey of me skateboarding and learning to skateboard. Ever since I was around seven, my brother was teaching me how to ride around and get around on a board. And at one point, I eventually became better than him. And this was one of the first things I was actually better than him at. I moved up from Atlanta in 2010, and that's when I really started my full skateboard journey. This beach is where a lot of my growing up happened in Connecticut. I started skate camp here, I got my first set of stitches here, and this platform right here is exactly where I stood when I won my first competition. Second place at around the age of eight or nine years old. This park means so much to me. It's a part of who I am, who I'll always be. It'll be the place that I come to sit when I need reconciliation, or just some good energy, or even when I'm just happy and just need to be somewhere that keeps me happy. Fantastic. What a vulnerable and real look at your history with skateboarding. How often do you use skateboarding in the park you mentioned? to help you cope with stress and life in general? Well, as life has been very busy, um, I haven't been able to really go there as much and enjoy it, but every time I do get the chance, I'll go and I'll go relax. Um, I usually don't go to the park though, I'll go sit at the beach because I'll just skate there and sit on the beach and listen to the waves. Yeah, that makes sense. Nobody knows you like you do. From what you've seen from yourself and from other skaters, is skateboarding an effective way to cope with personal difficulties? Um, it can be. It can be kind of relaxing or just kind of help me think about life, uh, how to fix my problems. Mm -hmm. uh, I did that in the summer of 2020 um, and even going into the school year of 2020. All right. I'm glad we get to hear this from someone so personally involved with skating. This may seem like an amateurish question, but I have to ask, do you have a favorite skateboard? Um, I don't. Uh, I just grab a board and go, and as long as it's working for me and it's working in the way that I need, then yeah, it works okay. perfectly. That's interesting. How much do the dynamics of the board affect which one you choose? Um, 
I like to have a lot looser trucks um, and softer wheels, so usually that's how it works for me. Um, anything other than that is a little bit too difficult. Well said. Here's the big question. At what point do aesthetics trump dynamics? Um, I don't really, I mean, I like the look of a, I guess I like the look of a board, but like usually when I go to the store, I'll just get a blind board. Uh, that's a company, but that's about it. But anything other than that, like dynamics are most important because if I can't have a board that rides or if it's not nice, it's gotta go. Wow, I would have never known. The things you learn when you take just a minute to hear about people's passions. Speaking of, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, Omari, for joining us today on NCC News. Hope we see you again soon.